Okay, uh, circuit board repair.net. So I have here a treadmill. Um, this one happens to be an Armstrong one. And the circuit board went out in it. And they're very hard to find. And I looked up a lot of different things. And they're pretty expensive too. So then I also found on eBay, circuitboard.net will. Um, will repair your board so for $75 you'd pay them mail it in and return it so um, so here I've got my let's cut this open here my circuit board has been returned to me and so um, we've got uh, circuit board information there's our website and so forth. Um, so, let's see. Looks like it's packed in the same material so I sent it to them. So here's, here's the circuit board assembly. Sorry about the camera waving around. Hopefully, you don't get seasick. So, it looks like, um, yeah, they've, uh, Repair on the board, replace some of the components, and hopefully this will work. So, um, so this board actually um, is going to be mounted in here like so. Um, and so, what I'm going to do is pause this, make my uh, electrical connections, and secure the heat sink down to the bracket and then I'll continue from there. Okay, so I've made the electrical connections. There's um, There are two AC connections over here for your hot and your neutral. And then there's a, there's a Molex connector under here um, that's connected. Then there are two, uh, there's a short header and a long header connector. They're just straight pin connectors. Uh, nothing goes on this connector right here. And then there's the two leads for the motor. Um, there's a red and a black. They're marked on the board that way. So those are connected now. And now uh, next, I'm just going to screw it into the um, the heatsink to the to the chassis here of the treadmill, and then we'll power it up and see how it goes. Okay, so uh, I've now I've mounted the the heatsink for the board. To the chassis there's also a tie wrap here that goes on this cable just to keep it away from your belt so it doesn't get ripped out of the board and now next thing we're going to do is plug it in and power switch is on in the back and next looks like we've got our display is on okay and we'll just hit Quick start. Okay, looks like we got some motion there. And looks like we're we're in business here. We can just jump up to four miles an hour. Looks like we've got, got a good speed, good indication there. What I was hap the problem I was having before is it would click and then beep and there would be no motion on the motor, so no power was going to the motor. I checked the motor out by putting uh, a 12 volt battery on it. And it did turn the belt and everything. There weren't any problems from the mechanical side, so it, it had to be the board. So it looks like uh, they did a good repair. And uh, this is uh, December 17th, 2018. So let's see how long this repair lasts. Hopefully, we'll never see another follow up to this. Anyways, hope this is helpful. Thanks.